everybody, welcome back to Meals with Marcia. Today I'm going to be making another pasta dish and it's called Spaghetti Alfredo Bake. So I'm excited to show it to you, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to boil your favorite noodles. I just bought the mini, uh, I think these are called panay. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer. Oop, I'm spilling. Those are the mini panays. I just boiled them like eight, nine minutes al dente and I just, uh, drained them and I've had them sitting here cooling because I'm going to layer this. Now, I'm, it, normally a 9 by 13 would be what you would fix this in, but there's only three of us now. I've talked about this in some of my other videos. And so I don't need a 9 by 13 unless I'm having all my family over. So I'm going to do two separate dishes. I have uh, someone I want to take this one to that uh, has been in the hospital. Actually, it's my dad. I want to give this to my daddy. And so I want to make one for my family for this week because I'm meal prepping and then I'm going to take one to my dad. Um, He's, uh, like I said, he had surgery and he's supposed to be getting out of the hospital tomorrow, so I want to have them some food. So anyway, first of all, I'm going to take this, and this is a 16-ounce box of the mini panay noodles. And I'm just going to separate them in between these two. I'm hoping that won't drip too much. Maybe I should bring it right over here. I mean, I'm going to try to layer it as best I can. I have never until now, till this recipe, I'm making such a mess, mixed Alfredo and spaghetti sauce together. But guys, I did this and my family loved it. I saw a couple of uh, similar videos on um, TikTok and, and different things and I thought, I wanna try doing that and kind of put my own spin on it and, and it's delicious, we love it. All right, so we're gonna do one layer of that and then I'm going to do a layer of spaghetti sauce And anything that we can do ahead and have prepared is awesome. I, I shared my lasagna recipe with you guys and and uh, I was it, it was a do ahead and it was great. And that's stuff that you can just throw in the oven and feed people really quick. It's always nice, all right? So let me see if I can pour this one a little bit, maybe. See if I can get that in there really good. Get a little bit more on this side. Just separate it in half. Okay. Ooh, it's a heavy pot. I've had this, uh, this is a Biltmore uh, set of uh, pots and pans that my mother-in-law had given me. She bought me years ago. And uh, they are amazing. I've had them for a long time. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Just a little, cause we'll top it with some cheese as well. I don't know if this pan's gonna be deep enough to get everything in, I hope. All right. And I would say between the two, you're gonna use about two cups of cheese. Uh, but if you like more, you can do more. If you like less, you can do less. Let's see if I can get that spread out. Get that down in there. Okay. Now, now let's put some more noodles in. Maybe I can turn it up this way now and do it. Get it spread out together. This one's going to be running over, guys. I don't know. Maybe I can get it all in there. Maybe I can press it down, get it in there. Hopefully. All right, and then you just get a 16 ounce jar of the Alfredo sauce, classic Alfredo. Let's see if I can get that open. Yep. Open this one. Yep. And then you're just gonna pour that on. Now, uh, some people like to make their own Alfredo sauce. It's up to you if you you have time to do that I'm always kind of pressed for time so um, but you can if you would rather do that and I'm gonna layer it and try to get as much of this out as I can all right so let's smooth that out from corner to corner This one, like I 
said, I hope I have enough space in this big dish, but I should. I should have enough. I'll push it down and make it work. This would feed a lot of people, guys, um, you know, if you're wanting to entertain. And uh, pasta is not a likely thing everybody wants every night because I know everybody's carb conscious, but this is a good way to feed a lot of people, and it's really good. And you can also add Parmesan cheese if you wanted to, to this. You could uh, sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top. Be good to do. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I've done all that. All right. Now I'm gonna top it with cheese again. Now my spaghetti sauce is semi-homemade. I've talked a bit about this too in some of my other videos. I um, I usually just buy like uh, Hunt's normally is what I buy. I think I bought Walmart brand this time, traditional uh, spaghetti sauce. And I just do onions and uh, garlic and salt and pepper. And I uh, brown my ground beef and drain it. And then I add those two jars of the um, traditional spaghetti sauce in there. And then uh, I, just let it simmer on the stove. Let me straighten all this out. And then that's how I do my spaghetti. And I add cinnamon and a little bit of sugar to mine too. Just let it simmer on the stove. And that's how I get my spaghetti sauce. If you want to make homemade, you could, or if you just want to put it straight out of the jar. And if you did not want to put meat in this uh, dish, you could. You could just do the uh, spaghetti sauce without the meat, but my family are meat eaters and they like meat, so. All right, I did get that in there. It's busting the seams, but I did get it in there. So, okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to cover these with foil because I'm going to be putting this one in the refrigerator. We're gonna have it this week to eat. I'm gonna be covering this one. And I'm gonna to try to send it down to my dad's for when he gets home from his surgery. And so they can have a meal. And I am, like I said, covered with foil, but now when I'm ready to bake this, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna uncover it. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And I'm just going to put it in and let it bake for if it's cold probably about 30 to 35 minutes But if you were putting it in at room temperature just like you made it and you're ready to put it in right now I would do it about 20 to 25 minutes just until everything's uh, Melted together heated through you know and bubbly. So uh, Anyway, that's it and guys you can serve this with garlic bread or salad or you could just have some kind of uh, Vegetable on the side whatever you would like, but that's it. It is spaghetti alfredo bake and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marsha. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.